What is up boys, welcome back to a brand new series on the channel. Today we are going to be playing another UFC 4 career mode. This career mode is going to coincide with the other career mode series we have going on with the Caleb Anderson series. This is Ramon Alcantara, he is a Jiu Jitsu fighter. He's, he's a bit more of a uh, ground specialist than Caleb. Caleb likes to box and stay in the pocket and really stand and bang. Where Ramon will like to just get you on the floor, tie you up and, and really, really just submit you. We're going to see how this goes. Both careers will be on Legendary and hopefully by the end of these careers... We have some very good storylines. Now, if you missed the first episode of the Caleb Anderson career mode, I really suggest you go and watch that. Um, because there is a lot of things in that career that are said and will be the case for this career as well. So, if you guys want to make a fighter and interact with these fighters, maybe fight them, train with them. I mean, for episode one, we're probably not going to have that. But episode two and three for both of these guys, Caleb and Ramon, we're going to have that. We're going to have some training segments. We're going to have some fights. Yeah, let me know. Let me know. It's going to be interesting, though. I haven't really shot for a takedown yet. I kind of just want to feel him out. This is a boxer. I don't even know. What's this guy's name? Um, Jackson Allen. Okay. Dana White Contender Series. Ramon. If uh, you remember the Alcantara name, he's actually related to Hugo Alcantara from a UFC, I believe, UFC free career. So, And again, he was a jiu-jitsu guy as well. But I've got to say, Ramon's boxing isn't bad. His boxing's pretty good. He doesn't feel... Too bad he's getting clipped a little bit. We are munching up this guy's leg though. And why I want to do that. This hip toss. Oh, I tried it. I tried it. I'm going to try and get this man out of here. I know we're really, really boxing him. At the moment, I'm trying to get a hold of him and grab a leg. There we go. That was nice from him, to be fair. Ain't over yet though. Okay. That leg is hurt. I'm trying to get a hold of him, man. I'm trying to get him up against the fence. That'd be a great way to really get this takedown. Part of me wants to really, really just shoot. We're going to, I think, get that takedown. There we go. Now we're going to see what Ramon can do. Gonna let him roll. We're gonna try and take the back. Ramon's specialist is uh, is chokes. So I want that back. I want him to roll. I want him to make a mistake. Get a ground and pound there from Alcantara. Hoping for the roll. He's gonna try and reverse us here. This is not good, but Ramon's grappling. Pretty damn nice. Back to side control. Realistically, I just want to beat him up here. Land some shots. Gonna keep going back there. Want that back. There's not a lot of time left in this round. Gonna try and get with an anaconda. I know we're not gonna lock it in, but we are gonna try. I don't think we're gonna lock this in. If we do, it'd be very impressive, but I can't see that. Oh, to... oh, okay, yeah, definitely not, but still though, impressive. Very impressive for Ramon. Let's see what he can do in the second round, though. Took him down, beat him up a little bit on the feet. Really, really, the exchanges were a lot different in the ground. Like, we was able to just control him. And that leg's beat up, too. Trying to go for a double. He is making sure, though. They're on the back foot a little bit. Going to pile drive through. There we go. <clears throat> now back on top. Comes Alcantara. Beating him up a fair bit there, and he's given up the back. This is what we wanted. Rear naked choke is there. Very early in the round. Let's see if Ramon can do it. He rolls. Giving up the dominant position if he does get out of this choke, though, which is a bit dangerous. But again, the jujitsu is so high for Alcantara. Let's see. We really beat him up. Back on the neck. That's in. That's over. That is over. Ramon Alcantara taps Jackson Allen and is heading to the UFC. Big win for Ramon. Really impressive second round there. Took him down, ground a pound, gave up the back, took the neck. Job done. 
Ramon is heading to the UFC and there is a bit of hype around the Ramon because of his relation to Hugo Alcantara. So Dana is definitely going to want to push uh, Ramon into a big fight. And with a finish and a performance like that, he's definitely going to get the big fights he wants. Let's see what happens. I see Ramon is heading into next. He's already headed to Twitter after this fight and said he wants Cowboy Cerrone, Joe Lozon. He wants some low-level welterweights and lightweights. Let's see if he can get uh, any of those. He wants to be in both divisions, though. He's like Kamzat Jemayev, wants to be active in welterweight and, uh, well, welterweight and middleweight. He's Kamzat. Ramon wants lightweight and welterweight. We'll see if he can do that, though. Let's see what Dana comes up with. But Ramon Alcantara heading to the UFC. What a win. The hype is definitely real. Ramon Alcantara training and preparing for Cowboy Cerrone. This one is interesting. A decent welterweight fight. You know, Ramon kind of kind of spat his uh, trash talk. And uh, Cowboy was the one that answered. Let's see what happens here, though. Cowboy is a tough, tough opponent. This is Ramon's first fight in the UFC. Cowboy is welcoming to the UFC. That's kind of interesting. We'll see what Ramon can do. I will say Ramon's got some nice leg kicks. Cause he's got to watch out for the headshots of Cowboy. And that's exactly what he's got to watch out for. The kickboxing of Cowboy Serrano. Not good at all. Pull up the grappling. Well, Cowboy has some very good grappling himself. There's levels. And Ramon will be looking to get this on the mat. Pretty damn soon. He's only a free rounder. Alcantara 9-0 now. Big test for the youngster tonight. Against say game, Donald Cerrone. Shoots in. Unable to get the takedown there. Nice work from Cowboy. Really good takedown defense from the veteran. Oh, and he's rocked Ramon. This is interesting. Ramon shoots and gets it. Good takedown for Alcantara. Needed to get that takedown. He was desperate there. Now let's see what he can do with it. Against a tough Donald Cerrone. It's a big step up for Alcantara. Let's see what he can do. Already nice grappling there. And Alcantara sticking to him like glue. Let's see what he can do here. The Bulldog choke is there. He's going for it early. Can Cowboy survive? I don't know. Alcantara's creeping. Oh boy, yeah, this is in. This is over. Controlling the wrist. This is game over. Alcantara. Showing what a tough, tough man he is. Got rocked, came back with the takedown. He taps Donald Cerrone in round number one. A huge win for this up and coming star on the biggest of stages. Huge win. What is next for Ramon Alcantara? He heads onto Twitter, and again, he is spitting straight mess to all of the division in the lightweight division. What is next for Ramon? Who are they going to offer him? We have yet to be seen. He has fired shots at the likes of Kevin Lee, Joe Lozon. He's firing shots at guys that are a little bit lower in the rankings. He wants to build himself up. Maybe Clay Guida to see who will come back. And face the Brazilian in the next episode. Not the next episode. What am I talking about? In the next fight. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Don Cerrone though and Jackson Allen falling victim to the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu artist. Let's see what is next for Ramon. It was Bobby Green that answered the call against Alcantara. Let's see how this one goes. Bobby Green, a very, very good kickboxer in his own right. Let's see what he can do against Alcantara. But I do feel like if Alcantara gets a hold of him, it is game up. Let's see what happens though. Green, a very, very good kickboxer, very good movement, good power. Alcantara is going to need to keep his wits about him, though, or he will get clipped. That leg kick working nice in there. Oh, Green with a nice combo. Switching stances. Smart from Bobby. Alcantara. A little piece there. Kick from Bobby though, that was nice. Ramon needs to just keep his wits about him. Ooh, nice upcut from Green. These boys on Legendary, they're tough, man. 
I'll get any chance to get this to the mat though I'm there, you know? I don't just want to shoot though, I want to set it up. Might be a bad idea. I want to stand and bang though. As wild as that sounds. Ramon wants to stand with the kickboxers. Can he hip toss him? Oh, nice there from Green. They're going punch for punch, these boys. I don't like this. A good matchup. Real, real good fight. Oh, he's clipped Ramon. Bobby Green. Good body shot. Oh, one again. Nice combos there. Ramon comes back though. Good combo there for him. Wild. Ramon's showing some heart here. He's going to be a fan favourite for sure. Big knee. Clipped him again. Dropped him again. And Ramon gets the finish. A knockout on Bobby Green in round number one. Holy. I did not expect that. Alcantara. Literally a wrecking ball in this lightweight division. He is going to move up these rankings quick. Smoking everyone in his path. Let's see who is next. Four. Ramon Alcantara knocks him out. Bobby Green, combination right hand there. Put him on the canvas. And that was all she wrote. It's the head movement there from Bobby. But Ramon Alcantara comes in with a huge shot. Buckles him. Down and out he goes, man. Beautiful, beautiful execution and finish there for Ramon. What is next for this Brazilian beast, man? An absolute beast. He can knock you out. He can submit you. You don't want to play with Ramon. This first episode has been absolutely insane for Alcantara. He has hit the UFC by storm, taking out Donald Cerrone, Bobby Green, and now he's in here against Fazeev. This is a very, very tough fight. A win here would definitely put him in the top 10. Ramon Alcantara now what? 10 and 0? 11 and 0? Let's see what he can do against Fazeev. This is going to be a real tough fight for him. One that he needs to be careful because Fazeev is no slouch, man. Alcantara needs to keep on his heels. Watch these shots from Fazeev. Oh. Currently undefeated though, Ramon. Fazeev has tasted defeat before. Ramon kind of wanting to kickbox with him. That could be a big mistake. The likes of Fazeev. Oh, he's out to the body. Good movement from Ramon there to get out of the way of those shots. Random leg kick there, don't worry about it. And a miss in the overhand. Oh, good switch kick there. Nice straight for Zeev having the better of the exchanges at the minute. Get into the body. He knows Ramon is hurting there. Tried the high kick there. Can I have my leg back, sir? Flying knee hurts for Zeev. Oh! Zeev says let's go on the ground. Ramon says fuck no. We don't want that. This is wild. Kick there. Don't want to play with Ramon on the ground, bro. Such a big mistake. Ramon's going to try and get up and does. Hurts his leg there. Receives boxing. He's nasty. It's Ramon. Has to respect it a little bit. I don't feel like he's respecting Fazeev at the minute. Trying to get away. No shots there in the clinch. Ramon's tough though, man. Eats it like a champ. Nice combination there. 
Ooh. Nice high kick from Ramon. He is standing with Fazeev, to be honest. Oh, clips it bad. First round's been wild. Ramon is a big star. Body shot. This is a real good fight. Oh. Ramon's held his own here. He actually knocked Fazeev down, which is interesting. Some shots here for Fazeev, though. Ten seconds on the clock. Big elbow from Fazeev. What a round. What a great round. We go again. We go again. Round number two. Fazeev. Alcantara. Let's get it. Mutual respect between competitors. Oh, oh, he's staying down. No, he's not. Sat him down. Oh, that's a nice denial there from Fazeev. We cracked him good, though. And again. Alcantara wants to take him out. He has to watch the hands of Fazeev, though. Nasty work here. Alcantara. This is a great fight. I'm loving this matchup. Alcantara really, really making waves here. He's trying to get a hold of him and he does. Let's see what his ground game's like. Because we know Alcantara's is nasty. This is where we can see a big difference. Because he's got some nice grappling too, bro. But this is a different kettle of fish. Down here on the canvas. Fazeev is trying to get out. Alcantara saying, fuck that. He's going nowhere. It doesn't help for Fazeev that he's trying to transition all the same way. So we can kind of read it. He's gone that way. He's going to give up his back. And Alcantara, as we know, loves a choke. Flattens him out. Rolls there, but still in trouble. Alcantara just kind of smushing him a little bit. Wearing him down. He knows the choke is coming. He's trying to get Fazeev to panic. The transitions and movement of Alcantara are crazy good. He is just smashing him down here. Really, really bad setup down here for Fazeev on the ground. As expected, Alcantara denying everything. He's hurting. Alcantara doesn't finish him. He wants that back. Very clever movement here from Alcantara. Got to flatten him out. Now he wants that rear naked choke. Can he lock it in? He does lock it in in time. Is it enough though? Got a minute left in the round. And Alcantara wearing him down on the ground. Looks like he's going to pay off. Oh, now Katara still undefeated. Chokes out for Z. Like it is nothing. Crazy. Crazy. I have no words. He is going to get a big fight in episode two. We could be seeing the likes of Justin Gaethje, Benny Darius, Dustin Poirier, Edson Barboza. Some boys like that, you know, some real big names. He is just strapped up Rafael Fazeev and strangled him, choked him out. Big win there. Huge win for the boy. That's going to be it for today's video, though, boys. Thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed it, hit the like button, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you for more good old uh, UFC 4 career mode next time. So, thanks, guys. Have a great day. See you again in the next one.